Hello, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Frank Walters, and today we're going to do the pencil sketch effect in the Finney Photo 2. So with the image in front of us right now, let's go ahead and duplicate this image layer. Come over here to the Layers panel and right click on the layer, or if you have an Apple computer, you would control click and choose Duplicate. Now we want to come here to the icons bar and click on the adjustments icon and choose HSL, which stands for Hue, Saturation, and Luminosity. Click and drag the Saturation Shift slider all the way to the left so our image becomes grayscale. And click on the red button right here. Come over to the Layers panel. And click on the middle duplicated background layer. And we're going to change the blend mode from normal to color dodge. And then we're going to invert this layer. Press Command or Control I to invert. Very good. We're almost done, if you can believe it. Come over here to the icons bar and click on the live filters icon. And choose Gaussian blur. And we want it, the radius to be 0.9px. So you can use a slider. It takes forever or just click on here so it's all blue and put 0.9 and press the return key and then press the red X button here so it is gone. Very good. Let's make this a little bit image a little bit smaller. And that's it. That this is this is how you create a pencil sketch in the Finley photo. But we're not done yet because I want to make this look a lot cleaner. The way we're going to do it is that we're going to paint away these clouds. But instead of using just a white paintbrush to paint in the way, we want to use a black layer mask. All right? So the way we do that is that we come over here to the bottom layer in the Layers panel. And then we come up to the menu bar where it says Layer. And you want to do New Fill Layer. So the New Fill Layer is all white. And then we're going to add a black layer mask to this. And it's going to remove the white fill and bring us back to our image. So come down here to the icons bar, click on empty mask. All right. So now let's expand this group here. Click on the group icon, this little arrow pointing to the right. And then make sure that the black layer mask is selected like it is. All right. Now let's press the B button for the paintbrush tool. And we're going to make some changes into the contextual toolbar. Come up here where it says width. I've already made the change, so make sure your width is 300. If your width is something else, let's say 40, you just double click and type 300 and press the return key. Make sure that the opacity is 100 and the flow is 100 and the hardness is 100. Okay, so now what we're going to do is that we're going to create two quadrants. We're going to paint here and on this side, paint here. Maybe the brush is a little bit too big. I'm going to lower it to 200. Yeah, I think that's better. So lo lower the paintbrush width down to 200. All right, so you click up here and drag down. Oops, I'm making a mistake. Do you know what mistake I'm making? Look over at the colors panel, and I have it on black. We want it on white. So you can click on the white here to make it the foreground. You can also click on these double arrows, and you can also click on the X key on your keyboard, which I'll do now. See how it switches? Okay, now we're ready. So let's let's look at the screen. Again, we'll come to the Layers panel. Make sure that the mask layer is selected. Make sure that we're painting in white. It's selected. And the brush tool is selected. And all of these settings in the contextual toolbar are correct. And they are. Very good. Now we're going to start painting here at the top. If you want to make short paintbrush strokes, that's okay. You can do that too. I think that's wisest because if you make a mistake, you don't have to redo everything. Okay, so there's that. Start at the top here, come down as close to the Eiffel Tower as you can. We're going to do more fine work in a moment. And come over here to the right. Okay, so it's difficult to see on the screen right now, but we, we, did, we did make these L's here, this backward L and this L here. The way that I know it's done is you come over to the Layers panel 
and you can see this uh, black layer mask preview thumbnail here. It's kind of small, but you can see it. You can see the backward L, and you can see the, the regular L. And so to make this here in the middle of the screen, we're going to hold down the Alt and Option key and click on this black layer mask preview thumbnail. And now it's in the middle of our picture. So now we're going to paint in the rest of this left quadrant. I call it quadrant, the left L. And then over here, this side too. If you remember from our tutorial on how to do a color splash, we did this as well. We, we, we uh, clicked on the uh, layer mask and we had it look like this. This is just a great way of doing it because then you know that this entire left side is perfect and this entire right side is perfect as well. Okay, so let's make the image come back. Hold down the Alt Option key again and click on the black layer mask here and the image comes back. Now we need to reduce the size of our brush and we need to do more fine work because we need, we, we need to paint right next to the, uh, the Eiffel Tower. So we're going to zoom into the picture by using two fingers on the trackpad and expanding the fingers outwards. You can also use two fingers on the trackpad, put, them, put the two fingers on the trackpad, and then you can move the picture around. So move the picture around with two fingers and zoom in and zoom out with two fingers. All right, so let's start in the bottom left corner here and let's make our brush smaller. I'm going to use the bracket key, the left bracket key to make the brush smaller. If you look at the contextual toolbar, I think 60 is good. Okay, 60 is good. So let's zoom in some more. And then I'm going to go as fast as I can because this is just a tutorial. When you're by yourself, you can be much more precise. So just follow along with me in the video here. And... That's, oops, I made a mistake there. So we want to press the X key to change the foreground and background so that the foreground is black. And then we can, you see how it comes back? So we just want to click and drag the Eiffel Tower back. Press the X key one more time to change the foreground color back to white. And I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller by pressing the left bracket key. On the contextual toolbar, it's 26. It doesn't have to be exactly what mine is, but so we're going to click and drag down here and click over here. And I'm going to use the, the, the shift shortcut. There is, a, there is curvature here to the Eiffel Tower, but for the most part, you can do this. So click here, come down, hold the shift button, and click, click, click. And that, kind of, and that makes it a lot faster. So click, 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 click around here. Click, 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 click. This is pretty tedious, tedious work here, but you have to do it in order you want your stuff to look good. You have to do it. Oops, I painted away a little bit of that. I'll press the X key and bring it back. One click, X key again, make sure it's in white, and then paint again. Oops, X key, paint it back, X key again. Let's make it a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. Okay, we're almost done. Let's just get rid of that part right there. And let's get, I think this is like a, uh, this must be like a tower or a crane. I'm gonna get rid of it just because I want to. Um, okay, and then we gotta do the middle here. I'm gonna make it, the brush a little bit smaller. Click here, hold down shift, click, hold down shift straight down. Over here in the corner, click up in this corner. And then just kind of do your straight lines here. Corner, straight line, click. I'm holding down shift the whole time. And this is a little bit small, so make the right bracket key. We're almost done. Sorry if this is a little bit too tedious for you, but my channel is for beginners, and so I wanna make sure that beginners 
are able to watch my videos and do exactly what I do so that their confidence level and their ability grows you know, pretty fast. Okay, that's it. So now press Command or Control-0 to recenter the image, and we're done. So now the image looks really good. So now the original image is now a black and white sketch, pencil sketch. If you want to see what this looks like in a colored pencil sketch, it's extremely easy. Just come over here to the Layers panel, and on the top HSL Adjustment, that's where we made the image uh, grayscale. Just click on that, and there you go. And there is a colored pencil sketch right there. So click on the HSL Adjustment layer again, turn it on, and there's your black and white. Okay, that's all for today's tutorial. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you would, please subscribe to the channel, and I plan to make more videos every week. And thank you for your attention. Bye.